Alrighty, Scrafters, it's LJD versus Space Lobster. <laughs> LJD Protoss. The, uh, the Protoss. Protoss. Um, uh, Protoss. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, what's happening? And, uh, yeah, we're on Dreamcatcher, which is, has got this huge open space in the middle uh, with these weird chokes that come through destructible rocks. Um, also destructible rocks here that can block this. This is a funny map, uh, generally a good map for Terran. Um, because you have like these tank positions in behind this wall that can shell um, the third of your opponent. So uh, yeah, good for Terrans typically. Um, but let's see what happens. Uh, Space Lobster walling off with our racks and LGD, LJD, sorry, um, with the low ground pylon and gateway. So everything looking extremely normal so far. LJD coming in to scout with the worker as you should um, and sees that everything is normal, sees that there's no expo just yet. Gonna hide the worker um, and that's great. Why wouldn't you hide the worker? Because that can pop back in in a moment and just check the timing on this expo. As it is, both players um, expanding, you know, pretty similar timings, really. Uh, Space Lobster is going up to reactor with a second barracks coming down. And LJD is just going to get out an adept. And we don't often see adept play. And I would like to see some adept play. Adepts can be really good. Um, but no second gateway just yet for LJD. So um, this single adept will be, you know, pretty useful for keeping out um, a reaper or whatever. Um, but one adept is not any good at harass. Can be useful to kind of shed into your opponent's base to get a scout um, because you can just send in the shed and if the front door is open, let the shed finish and have a look around shed out again. Uh, quite often you can actually get the adept in and out. So Space Lobster researching stim. Going to build a second tech lab here. So double tech lab. I wonder, are we going to see some marauders? Um, the factory is finished, but nothing coming out of it just yet. Um, which is weird because it does have the tech lab on it. Um, you, you know, if, if you'd built the factory just so you can get the starport, you can't build the starport until you've got a factory. Um, you wouldn't bother building a tech lab. So uh, finally, Siege Tank does start up. Now, LJD is a little behind in production um, in as much as he's only got the one warp kit. Um, so he's got like this, uh, <laughs> this weird kind of uh, box cover, uh, box art army, hasn't he? One of each gateway unit. Um, but look, he's saturated here. So where, where's the expand, please, LJD? Where's the expand? As soon as, but you know, ideally you drop your third before this is even saturated. Get to about 13 workers and, and drop the third because by the time it's finished, this will be saturated. And you can start transferring workers that are built directly to the third. Immortal coming out momentarily uh, supply block. Don't know about the position of these pylons, a little bit weird. Um, but don't hit it either. Liberator is gonna come in and could well get some stuff done. The units are well and truly out of position. So it needs to be a worker pull. Oh, there's no worker. Oh my, oh my God. That is the latest worker pull you're ever gonna see, isn't it? I mean, that took a long time. Surely no more kills. That's more like it. One kill. You know, in general, uh, you, you expect the Liberator to get a kill, um, certainly. Two kills, certainly. It takes you a little while to react, but the Liberator should not, it, under any circumstances, be getting 12 kills, 14 kills. That is not on. Um, so LJD is going to come across and get up to something, and you'll have to see it. Um, does Space Lobster know about this? He sees the Zealots. Uh, so there's going to be a warp in over here, and it's DT's. Um, has Space Lobster got detection? Uh, he's made the classic error of scanning before there are units in place to deal with the DT. And I've talked about this before. You, you know it's a DT. You can tell that it's a DT. There's a shimmery thing on your screen killing your stuff. You don't need to scan to confirm that. Um, so send the army first, then scan. 
Now, LJD appears to have missed his opportunity because, look, uh, Space Lobsters pulled the entire army to deal with that one DT. If ever there was a great time to send this lot in to just take out the natural, that would have been it. Because with the Sim City here, it would have taken the army a long time to come down the ramp. And if you've got a single sentry, you know, you run in here, you force field the ramp and you just kill this. And there's nothing really that the Terran can do. They've got to elevate or everything over the force field in medevacs. And you've got enough stalkers that you can probably one shot the medevacs as they try and fly out very very expensive for the Terran to deal with now speaking of such a siege tank positioned here a siege tank positioned here and this is a very tough position for the protoss are there storms are there storms no storm has not been researched so the templars actually add in nothing would have been better turning them into um into archons these zealots at the back are getting some work done they're going ham on the siege tanks but the siege tanks actually not sieged up which on this occasion is the right move have they been sieged up the zealots uh, would have dealt with them pretty handily um, as it is the terran is going to bust through and if we rewind and just look at the army supplies before the engage they weren't that dissimilar so unfortunately um LJD has forgotten to research storm because look how much energy is on these Templars and one storm in the middle of this. There are five Templars here. One storm in the middle of this, one juicy storm just would have changed this game radically. Didn't have storm, but what he did have was feedbacks and you, you know, there were five Templars. There's five medevacs here. Doink, 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 doink. Zero medevac energy would have made quite a big difference. There is a desperate shortage of shield batteries as well. There's only the one over here. Um, so LJD, a little unfortunate because did have the better eco, did have the third up, didn't have a bad army composition, um, but Space Lobster hitting a time in um, with enough siege tanks, enough medevacs, which I love to see um, because too many times we've seen Terrans attack with all the marines in the world and one medevac to heal them up and it just doesn't work um so a pretty robust attack from space lobster there um if i just let's have a look at the upgrades um so only combat shield and stim done yeah i'm actually surprised uh, yay yeah, there you can see it's a pretty ugly engage look all of these zealots are caught behind the ranged units um, which is the opposite of what you want. You want the zealots at the front. They are a meat shield. You want the zealots taking shots so that your heavy hitters, your stalkers, your immortals at the back are not taking shots. So the mistakes were made. Um, you know, the Templars dropping the feedbacks and turning into Archons would have been great. Um, zealots at the front definitely would have made a difference to this fight. Whether LJD could have won it or not, who knows, but it definitely would have been a lot closer than it looked. GG.